Welcome to Friday Night Vespers, my friends. I am so happy to have you here again this evening. As we open our hearts and minds to hear the scripture anew, let us take three calming breaths together. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. To see you high and lifted up. Shining in the light of your glory. Pour out your power and love. As we sing holy, 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 to see you high and lifted up, shining in the light of your glory, pour out your power and love as we sing holy, holy, holy. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord, open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you, I want to see you. Continuing Psalm 73, starting at verse 13. Surely in vain I have kept my heart pure, in vain I have washed my hands in innocence. All day long I have been plagued, I have been punished every morning. If I had said, I will speak thus, I would have betrayed your children. When I tried to understand all this, it was oppressive to me until I entered the sanctuary of God, and then I understood their final destiny. Surely you place them on slippery ground. You cast them down to ruin. How suddenly they are destroyed, completely swept away by terrors. As a dream when one awakes, so you arise, O Lord. You will despise them as fantasies. Acts chapter 5, starting at verse 27. Having brought the apostles, they made them appear before the Sanhedrin to be questioned by the high priest. We gave you strict orders not to teach in this name, he said. Yet you have filled Jerusalem with your teaching and are determined to make us guilty of this man's blood. Peter and the other apostles replied, We must obey God rather than men. The God of our fathers raised Jesus from the dead, whom you had killed by hanging him on a tree. God exalted him to his own right hand as prince and savior that he might give repentance and forgiveness for the sins of Israel. We are witnesses of these things. And so is the Holy Spirit whom God has given to those who obey him. Friends, thank you for joining me for Vespers again. I always love this time where we can listen to the word of our Lord together as we end our day and look forward to hopefully a restful night. As we close out our time together, I invite you to pray with me by repeating after me. Dear God, thank you for this day. Watch over me as I sleep and help me to be your child tomorrow. In your name I pray, amen. Good night, friends.